yeah, as far as like the differences between Tom and Paul, I think, you know, I don't know if I'm the best person to answer that. Um, but like I said, I think there, I think there's a little bit more of a micro detailing going on, uh, from Tom's perspective. Uh, but like I said, like the writing is completely different. So like mm -hmm. how to clean an unks book is probably a lot different. To, exactly. It's so much different. You have to take the time to develop the technique and the heights and all that stuff. Like I said, like it's trusting the process and trusting the system that Tom has in his head. Um, you I, know, I think that's probably just too like, although Paul was at Phantom, your experience was at Vanguard and the difference of like tr what you would consider like traditional cadets music versus traditional Vanguard music is also so different so the True. requirements of an arrangement standpoint are going to be naturally much different. Uh, I mean, a lot of cadets music historically has been like, just kind of like run and gun, like nose to the grindstone. Meanwhile, Vanguard is doing ballets and this and like shots. Yeah. To I mean, it's just different. Yeah. Um, I, I think the Tom does a good job of, of, um, you know, being musical you know, in a full ensemble context, but I think there is a lot more focus of like the the technical, the mechanical side of it, like what the rudiments are, mm -hmm. how like Very how the so. rhythm fits into the phrase, and uh, you know the density of notes um, is a lot more physical. He talks a lot about that physical nature of it, the energy you need. Yeah. Right? Yep. Uh, so he said that on here with us. He's like, yeah, I just want to like kick them in the teeth. Like, <laughs> like uh, I want the music like the to thing. hit the audience. Um, and I think Paul is is. Uh, He's very clever in how he generates those emotions. It's not just like, you know, that both of them are very effective. You know, one's like just in your face. Here's the idea. It's either good or bad. And the other is like, kind of like, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to make you think about this. I'm going to make you appreciate it um, a little bit more in depth. And, you know, I think both of them have their, their merit and, that's that's why they're both very much Hall of successful. Famers. Hall of Famers, <laughs> man. Yeah. Right? Like uh they, they have their, their style and they stick to it and I respect that, you know. I, I really yeah. do. And I look up to that. Um I learned very much how to uh structure a rehearsal from Tom. Uh, I think just how to increase their dexterity and their marching and maneuvering while playing this stuff, I think is is very apparent in how Tom builds the line, you know. Um, do a lot of like check patterns and stuff, and uh, it's it's a very technical, physical process versus the the musical mentality, and, and it's you know it, it you can see it in the product, you know you can see uh, what's Absolutely. effective about both and what's successful and what's maybe not so successful, and I think it all comes into fruition in how um, how the the program is set, you know how the the design is set first and foremost, how the, the pedagogy and the teaching supports that and how, you know, it all kind of comes together in the end. I think it's, I think it's really cool to see how both of them are doing it, you know, this stage in the game right now. Interesting. I also think yeah. that you nailed that question. Yes. So, I kudos, think uh, that's going to be, I'm, I'm <laughs> definitely going to clip that whole phrase and make it a clip video on YouTube because it's great. Extremely <laughs> well said.